So yeah, guys, I don't know if you can see clearly, but the line that that distinguishes the dirty water with the clear water. So the sardines will sit out deep, I guess, 800 meters to a kilometer out, maybe more. As the water down here is very dirty and it only clears out way behind the shark net. So for now, we won't see sardines for a couple of days, but I'll keep searching and I'll keep you informed. So yeah guys, yesterday, after all the excitement in Port Edward, I drove up all the way to Margaret and I found the sardines on Lee Rock. Uh, we did the live stream, but that didn't go too well. I don't know what the issue is with this thing, why doesn't it upload a clear picture? But I'll insert some video material of that straight after this. Yeah guys, I know the wind is the issue. We traveled from South Broome everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And in front of Lee Rock, we always fish right here. There's a whole shoal here. They're getting stuck behind the rip. So they are full up here, but there are no fish on them. It's just the sardines. They're sitting there, big pocket. Not a massive shoal. Uh, I don't know if it's visible on the video. Right in front of me, right here. They're sitting there. A lot of them. Get washed in here, but the wind is pushing them back now. I'll stay on them and see what happens. Okay, guys, down south, the water is starting to clear up. It's not as dirty as it was yesterday, but uh, the fish are gone, they are not around. We're trying to find them. It's raining, and I think it's gonna rain tomorrow as well, so not much hope in finding them. But we will keep on looking for them and see where we can find them and bring you the update. But for the midweek now, it's not going to happen. Okay guys, the sea is still a little bit big. Um, I don't see any action all the way from Margate down. Uh, I did get a call yesterday that there were sardines in the Umzumbi area and some small pockets in Port Shepston, but that's way behind the dirty water. So, I'll keep you updated as and when I get the news and if I do find anything. But I think the next couple days we're not going to see much because of the, the water that's dirty down south. Maybe up north, there are pockets and shoals going through. So up north where the water is clear, you guys might find them. Um, I'm taking a wild guess if far, far, somewhere around there. But the bigger shoals are still coming from down south, so soon enough we'll be onto them again. Okay guys, the Ivongo River is coming down properly, as you can see in the back there, the waterfall. So a lot of dirty water still coming in. So this area is a mud pool at the moment, and it's feeding dirty water into the ocean for quite some distance here. Um, and it's still raining, so I think we'll see dirty water down south for the next couple of days before we see any fish. I'll keep my eyes and ears open and I'll get you the information as soon as I can. If the sea starts to settle, as you can see it's not very lacquer. If the ocean settles and we can start to fish, I'll definitely let you know. I'll also go and check up a little bit north and see what we can find anything but for the moment definitely not lacquer and an upset seas i'll keep you informed boys i'll see you soon okay guys all the way down to marina beach still nothing the sea is still dirty down here as well so we have dirty water all the way on the south coast, everywhere. Still raining, still more rain forecasted. We'll go a bit up north, see what Ski Boat Bay looks like. But down here, nothing happening at the moment. So 
So yeah guys, it's hard to see how far the water goes out dirty uh, with the conditions and the rain. It's not clearly visible how far out the clean water is. That's probably where your fish are, way out at sea. Still nothing. A nice beach. I haven't visited this beach since I was in school. <laughs> yeah, a good area to fish. There's always a lot of fish around here, but not in this kind of water. Definitely not. So I'll keep you updated, boys. I'll see where they are. I'm still hunting. I'm still trying to find it. But the sea is not really fishable. Some areas still very, very bad. But I'll keep you informed. So guys, yeah, Ski Boat Bay, uh, Ramsgate, nothing happening, don't see no birds, don't see no anything, the water is still very dirty, every small little river that you can think of is coming down and pushing all the dirty water in here. I don't know if there's anything happening in Port Edward, I heard some story, but it hasn't been confirmed yet. So I've got someone checking for me. As soon as I get the news, I'll go there or let you know whether it's worth it or not. But for now, I think today and tomorrow is out. It's not going to happen. Thanks, boys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the subscribers. I'll keep you informed. I'll see you soon. Yeah, boys, new toy. Let me know what you think about my new toy. Is it worth it? I'm going to take a small clip here. Tell me in the comments what you think about the quality and the sound and the visuals, whether it's worth it or not. It's been donated and we'll see if we can put it to use. It is waterproof. It can go underwater. I have checked it. But I'm not going to swim with the sharks, that's for sure. Let me know in the comments, boys. Thanks. Okay, guys, first go. I don't know if there's a stability on this thing. How well it presents itself. And we'll see. There's only one setting. So you can't zoom. What you see is what you get. I don't know, the sound's in the casing. See if we can find some place we can stick it in the water here quickly and see what it looks like if that happens. But the water is so dirty, you're not. Oh no. no. The water is dirty. Won't be able to see anything.